Uh, a disclaimer first, although I wear some kind of uniform of HP, I do not speak for Hewlett and Packard. Okay. Here in my hand I have a 50G that I'll pass around in a moment. This calculator is flashed with new RPL from Claudio Lapillo. He tries to mimic the functionality of the 50G without emulating the Saturn rather than programming it from scratch using only ARM instructions. You can find all the details on the forum of the HP Museum under the title under the thread uh, URPL. So if you want to know, know the details, <coughs> you get, can get there. So this is Flash, so it's a 50 on R. 50 and R stands for denotes new RPL. The version is rather premature, not even alpha status. But there are functionalities that enable us to play with it already. The calculator has only a mechanical off function. That is, take out the battery to switch it off. Then <laughs> 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 well, you know, of course, how to switch it on. Okay. <laughs> so this is the switch on and off. <laughs> The menu system doesn't work yet, not at all. So it's like However, that. if you press a function key, some of the function keys, you will see that the function key has been pressed in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Keying in functions and commands verbally works already in most cases. Verbally? Verbally? verbally. Yes, alpha. Oh. Push the alpha key and oh, put in S-I-N, oh. and you have the function. Calculate. Okay, but if you push the S-I-N key, it will only show here S-I-N pressed. <laughs> Doesn't work. Okay. Pre-alpha. Pre <laughs> uh, accessing variables is different from the vanilla, vanilla F, uh, 50G. Pressing the var key here, for a longer time, invokes the special variables uh, menu. The normal menu keys do not work <coughs> on variables. <coughs> variables themselves are addressed by the six keys here on the left from the arrows. The store command is mapped to the history key. So when you have a number or something like that and you have a variable name, press the history key and it's <coughs> stored under that name. And also on the variable keys, left shift and right shift with the variable name work as usual. The alpha key toggles between lower and upper case. The input mode, while the entry line is visible, or is active, uh, shows an L for lowercase, a C for upper, uppercase or capitals, and a D if you return to numeric entry. I must admit that I'm not so sure if that always works like I just described. <laughs> hmm. Try it out yourself, you will <laughs> find out. Now I'm going to pass the 50 NR around play with it and have fun. Please be aware that the batteries are eaten once not <laughs> switched off. <laughs> and the batteries will be depleted very rapidly. So please, when you put the calculator to a longer rest, switch it off. <laughs> you know how to switch it on again. If the NR runs out of power, come and see me, I have some contingency fuel. <laughs> 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 well, last, I hope to get the calculator back at yes. the end of the conference. <laughs> oh, now I switch it on. The 
it says memory recovered. So you can do almost everything with it what you want. Memory is retained. Uh, you can delete what, what's on it and so try to program it and what have you. Okay, Eric, you're the first one. I hand it over. So please pass it around and have fun. And have you, if you have questions, just ask me. I'm not at all involved in the issue. It's simply a simple address, Claudio, to say, hey, let's see you at the conference. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.